Hello, it is Nick Kelly, this is Amplify, and this is a very special day for me. I'm pretty sure the first person I ever watched a YouTube video by, except for that weird um, Harry Potter um, puppet thing, where it was like, Ron, Ron Weasley, Dumbledore. Are you about to say it was a puppet or me? Because this no, is not going well. Okay. It was gonna be the puppet, but I'm pretty sure it was you. Natalie Tran is here, Community Channel. Hi. How long have you been doing this thing for now? It feels like a while. It feels like I should have stopped. Um, <laughs> a long time. I think this is 10 years. I dare say most people watching this would have been in their kind of like single digit days. Oh, that's terrifying. I would have been about 11 or 12. I don't want to hear that. How much has it changed, man, in the last like decade? Well, I taped all my videos on DV tape. Originally I used to film on my iMac. I used to carry like a headset in my pocket. This is how disgustingly big my pockets in my jeans were. <laughs> when I'd go to work and then at lunchtime I'd go to the internet cafe and use my headset and talk to other people on YouTube. It was a really small community, like it was that small where we'd all kind of chat online. Being in this kind of modern YouTube world, um, how do you find yourself fitting in with that? Well, Troy Sivan calls me the mother of YouTube in an interview. <laughs> and I was He's like, a word boy! No, it was very kind of him and I was like, I guess I could be your mother. <laughs> um, I just love now phones, cameras, everyone can make content, everyone can share content, tell stories. Do you more. Netflix and chill? I only just learn what that means. <laughs> no, I Netflix and eat, so. So what's coming in 2016 for you? Personally, I'd probably like to spend some time writing. I like writing a lot and I'd like to finish something a little bit, like a, just a different genre, so maybe just a longer form or a book or something, nice. like a play or something like that. Yes, I'd like to do something like that. We're going to play a game of have you ever, have you ever heard of this game? I have now. Because it's basically just like asking you if you've ever done something and then getting fun stories from you about it. Have you ever slept in until 5pm? Has an every exciting person? Yes. Bingo. Have you ever fallen asleep at work or at school? Yes, I once fell asleep in my locker. <laughs> Like I just fell asleep in it. Was it comfortable? It was kind of a half size locker and I fell, I just leaned my head in and I fell asleep and then a teacher woke me up and was like, you missed two exams. Have you ever held a snake? No. Do you want to? No. Have you ever sung karaoke? I mean, who hasn't? I have once, I don't get the karaoke thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I really you remember don't. You remember what song you sang? No. Have you ever dumped somebody? Yes. Was it really good or was it really bad? No, it was terrible. Oh. Don't do it, just stay in it forever, no. <laughs> it's just too awkward. No, only once and it wasn't great. Have you ever forgotten your anniversary? Have you ever had an anniversary? That's a bit rude of you, but rude. <laughs> what a follow-up question. Do you know what a relationship is? Do you know what an anniversary is? Well, yeah, that it's was when two one. people like each other and... Um, no, I've never forgotten an anniversary. Good, good work. I'll remember this one for sure. <laughs> Have you ever been in a helicopter? Um, I think so. <laughs> I seem like such a like douchebag right it now. It feels like the kind of thing you'd remember. Let me see how many aircrafts I've been <laughs> Have you ever smuggled something into another country? What is this position? <laughs> I know. Well, recently on the way back, I brought a cookie back and I didn't declare it. And I remember, <laughs> no, but I remembered it. And then they brought the dog sniffers out and I went, <laughs> like, I remember just like sweating and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be on that TV show, Border Security. Security. And they're going to show me in the ad and be like, what did she have, 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 have? And they'll show my face. It didn't. I asked her, I was like, I have a snack. I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's fine. Natalie Tran, keep an eye out for her in 2016. She's got more amazing things to come. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you very much. And playing my awful, rude, have you ever game. Have you ever.